Hello everybody and welcome back to part 2 on my review on my Primal Titan Kayak. Uh, it's a beast of a setup here and I'll run you through everything I have uh, modified this kayak. So we'll, we'll start at the back here with the motor. So I have put a Water Snake Slither SL motor, 44 pound thrust and a 36 inch long shaft down to the actual motor there so on this bracket here there's just some treated pine and this aluminium uh l bar here uh that's i just used aluminium as it's lighter and yeah we just bolted that through that aluminium there another one over that other side and yeah that that's clamps in tight then underneath here we have a um, uh, cut out our own uh, plate here that sits behind where there uh, standardly is a rudder system. The rudder system would just be used with the up the front there. You can see if you can see them. There is uh, some pedals connected to a rope and. That's what these connect to, so yeah, and then that bolt that came through that plastic there, uh, just bolted that, bolted the bracket to the bottom there, and uh, put this, slit this wood chuck thing, chuck in there, and to, that just stops it from moving as much. And if you saw part one of my review, uh, I did have a strap here, to connect it to a metal bar what is what was uh in the pre-made grooves that you normally put your water snake motor on and have it out the side but i don't like that idea as it would unbalance the kayak quite a bit and i think that you'd just be on the on an angle a bit when you're running around so on this sliding collar here that you use for the depth indicator uh, i just set my favorite depth there and put these six mil rod with uh the strainers normally you see them on your guardrails and all stuff like that so i put some carabiner clips on to the ropes that are couldn't usually connect to the rudder system you just pull them up and the uh, pedals just slowly raise and you just connect it into that loop there We'll do it the same to the other side. Now, if you watch part one as well, you'll see that I needed uh, eight mil rope yet. Uh, eight mil steel across here, uh, six mil bends. You can see there's a severe bend in there. Uh, yeah, we'll do that modification soon. Just haven't got to it yet. So, once you've completed and attached those two, just come to the front here. And if you push down in there, you see this motor slowly turns, the sun's a bit in the way there. But yeah, that's the theory. And uh, yeah, the f turns with your feet and then you just, yeah, turns. Works a treat definitely when you're trolling. Or well, yeah. So we'll move to our live bait bucket here. So this is a new addition. I bought this from BCF just a few days ago. I uh, put a few Savage Gear stickers on there. And I just had this aerator laying around, so I just used it on there. So just got some 5mm uh, silicone, uh, what do you call them, pipe there. And uh, just got that aerator end there. And you just open this. Now this is one uh, not pot, uh, like negative about this uh, aerator here. It uses D batteries and I... Yeah, no one usually has lots of D batteries laying around. It would be much easier if it was two double A's or something like that. But that's not too of an issue. Too much of an issue. So I just got a motor here. We'll just close that up. And I'll show you. Just connected that with some tape. And under the tape there is uh, some fishing line. I've just wrapped it around. tight, Not too tightly that it cuts it. But yeah, tight enough so it won't lose, lose any leaks. And uh, on the end here... I just have some uh, hot glue, I just hot glued that pipe to there and 
Yeah, that works a treat. So we'll just drop it in there and you just turn it on the switch and that is on full power and yeah, bubbles everywhere. Yeah, so that works. And you got one power as well. That works very good for your mullets and all your small bait fish. So on this pre-made uh, groove here, we I just have a 44 amp uh, battery. That's just one of the smaller ones. I do run a 60. Yeah, but that's just lighter, and I also this fits the 40 amp fits better when I have the bait bucket in there, as that's a bit more weight. I'll move to the rods now. In this rod, this rod, I have a Daiwa Ed X. Seven O two U L F S. No idea what that stands for, but it's just a light two to four kilo rod. And uh, yeah, on the the reel there, I just have a dial crossfire reel. Yeah, that's just a cheap reel that works a treat though. Very smooth, great for the money. And uh, on the other side on this rod holder, on a rod holder, I have a high quality Shimano Sahara two and a half thousand reel. Just connected to the old series there is a new one out now but this is a radar rack radar 682 2 to 5 kilo rod yeah and that is my favorite of the rods on this bike works an absolute treat and is a, just a lovely rod so i'll move up here i have a deluxe seat that just pops in and out yeah and that's very comfy when you're on it for the six hour long sessions. So I'll move to my fish finder here. It's a hook, Lorance hook reveal five. And yeah, just a regular fish finder. You know, you see them from in BCF and all those kinds of stores. So under here, if I pop that lid over there, uh, we have standard cords that come with it. I just chucked them in there, that's the usual fish binder cord and the larger one there for the trans transducer. That works. They just plug up through the hole, I'll show you later, and there's a fuse box that I added and they just add onto the clips. Usually I just run this small 12 volt battery. That sits just under those things there, just pop that cord on the side there and plug them in. Yeah, that works. Treat. Under there, I just have a little Ziploc bag uh, full of the motor motor needs when attaching the propeller. I just have some straps there, just in case I need it. Pretty not needed, but yeah, works a treat. So usually you just get these cords, and they just pop up through that hole there, and then sit in the back of the uh, unit there. So. The transducer is uh the cord is just comes out this drill other hole that I drilled. I drilled two holes. They're small, so they're not they're not that like uh, protruding out of the way. And down there is the transducer. Yeah, the primal Typhon kayak uh, already comes with a pre-made groove for fish finders, so that works. That was easy to set up in there. Yeah. I just used the standard mount there, just screwed it in to the lid there. Yeah, and that, I've never had any troubles with that. So, before we move on to the front hatch, I'll show you some nice stickers that I got here from Anaconda. Some nice trout. They're very high quality stickers and look very nice. And on the other side, I just have my paddle. And if I take my paddle off, you'll see those two Murray Cod there. So there's just a bit of decoration. I also have a BCF sticker. I'll just put this paddle away. I also have a Lorance. And now we'll go into the front compartment. In the front compartment I have my tackle bag. So in this tackle bag, I just have all your all my fishing uh, fishing needs when I'm out in the kayak. I also have the Propellers in the top there as there's quite a bit of space and yeah, I've just got Some normal tackle boxes there That one's got a few hard bodies and soft plastics in there and, uh, 
that's just my terminal tackle. A few floats and uh, swivels and hooks and sinkers all day. All that kind of stuff. So I'll put these back away, get that in there, zip it up. So that's what I just use. I do have uh, a few. Oh, I'll zip it up. I also do have a few uh, like uh, braid scissors and bait scissors on the side pockets here. All right, there's my multi tool. That just sits in there. A little bit too big for like preference, but that still sits in there nice and tightly. So I think that's about it for my review. Hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe. I also do have a lot more content on my channel if you do have a look. And uh, yeah, till then, next time, see you then.